Very cool. Oh, I think I see parking. All right, so we will park over here. Hmm. Now, I already read the information on this place and I cannot camp here. Um, so this is more of just a place to work for the day. Um, explore a little bit. And then uh, I will find a spot to sleep tonight, probably either at a Cracker Barrel or a Walmart because both are close. So plan A, Cracker Barrel, plan B, Walmart. All right, let me get some work done and then we're gonna explore this place, guys. Hmm, should I continue into the meadow or go near the sound of water? I think I will go near the sound of water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is about water, but it kind of puts my soul at ease. Do y'all feel that way? When you hear the sound of trickling water, it kind of puts your soul at ease. Oh, this trail gets kind of tight here. <laughs> Oh, yes, I knew I heard some water. Oh, yeah. Ew, this is muddy. I wore the wrong shoes. <laughs> That's beautiful. Now, there's supposed to be a covered bridge somewhere around here, so I really want to explore and see exactly where that covered bridge is. I really think I love covered. I love covered bridges, so it'd be really cool to find that. Oop! I'm doing some rock climbing. <laughs> <All right. laughs> It's pretty cool. There's supposed to be some mills over here. Go check out these buildings. See, that bridge right there is definitely not a covered bridge. <laughs> Check out this building over here. Some old wagon wheels up there, I guess. It's a beautiful building here. Let's see what they have over here. There's some wood here. Nice little bee sanctuary there, I think. I think that was made for bees to do their thing. A little protected space for them. Okay, I am not finding this covered bridge anywhere. So I'm about to go put it in the GPS and I will drive to it. All right, so I have the GPS locked in to the location of the Jericho cover bridge. It says it's only 0.3 miles away from here. I don't know how that's possible because, oh, oh, maybe it is. I thought it was gonna take me to this bridge that we already saw, but now I see it's telling me to turn left and not right. <laughs> okay, Jericho Road. Oh my goodness, so if I would have just kept going down this way, I would have been able to find this covered bridge. 
In 0.2 miles, the destination is ahead. 0.2 miles. Oh, look, I need to go over there. You see that barn over there? That old structure there? Oh, let me share the road here. This man is flying. Oh, 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 oh. I think I see it, guys. I think I see it. I hope the glare isn't too bad on the window. Oh, let me see if I can move over a little bit. Oh, I see it. Y'all see it? One lane bridge. Ooh, should we go over this? <laughs> All right, well, no turning back now. Here we go. Into the covered bridge we go. <laughs> That's so awesome. I'm going to turn around and do it again. <laughs> okay, let me find a spot to turn around because I definitely want to go back and do it again. <laughs> Ugh. I don't want to pull into anybody's private driveway though, so. Alright, let me find a spot to turn around. Okay, I think we're safe to turn around here. Ugh. Not invading too much anybody's personal, personal space here. That's a beautiful building too. Looks like they converted that into a home. Very nice. I'm sure that these folks are probably used to people turning around to go back <laughs> over the Jericho, um, the Jericho covered bridge. I'm gonna do it again, do it again. <laughs> One lane bridge y'all. I don't see any other cars coming from the other direction. Let me slow down a little bit so y'all can really see this. Oh, there's a car behind me. I better speed up. The car behind me is like, mm, trying to get through. Meh, flash my lights at you. Meh. <laughs> Look, the speed limit is 25. Chill, bro. So the first thing I want to show you all are these adhesive wall hanging storage caddies. I got these for $1.69 each. And as you can see, I use them right above my kitchen station here. Um, I have one here. I put like plates and silverware or some coffee packets in there. Okay, so I'll move on to these leaf um, adhesive hooks. So these came in a package of 10. I think you can get like 20. Um, but basically what I have done is, if you can tell, I have finally untangled my fairy lights. My fairy lights now go all around the car. And then the next thing I have are these little round hooks. This 10 pack was 97 cents and they came in different colors. So there's it there. So these came in a 10 pack and they're 97 cents for 10. They come in different colors. So there's like a yellow, pink, green, brown, and a few black. And what I do is I just use these to hang up things like my kitchen towels um, and then uh, pot holders, things like that, just light things. Um, and then also, this is going to help me the way I positioned it here. That's going to help with my back curtain that I always have problems with. Sometimes there's a gap that will help me there. Okay. So the next thing here are these LED light strips. This is only like three feet, I think. But they come in different colors. Plug this in. There we go. So they come in different colors. There is a remote that goes with them. And I thought this would be fun for like the holiday season coming up because you can make them different colors. So here's red, green, blue. You can change the hue of the red, green, and blue. Um, you can make them flash. <laughs> Strobe, ooh, fade. 
and then smooth. I don't know how that's smooth, but okay. Um, and then you could just, you know, have them on a regular color. But I thought that was cool for the holidays coming up. Plus, I've been told that if you put, that if you use red light in your car when it's dark, it's not so visible from the outside. Um, and that definitely helps being that I have some gaps in my windows. So yeah, and here's the remote that it comes with. And you just plug them in to USB. And I got this remote cell charger adhesive holder for 58 cents. It does have space on the bottom where you could put a phone in there and then run your cord through. Maybe put your keys, you know, over there, hang your cords there. Right now I'm using it to store my minimum to store my mini portable charger and then my remote for the USB light strips. Like I said, this was 58 cents. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy another one um, because I kind of want to put my phone on the other side of the car. And I think it's time for me to check on my rice here. Oh. I heard it sizzling and I want to get... Oh, snappies. <laughs> I don't want it to burn. Okay. Oh, and while I'm at it here, right here. So this is a little USB port. I got this for a dollar and one cent. And it has, you know, four different ports. And I plug that into my Blue Eddy. Let's see, we're pulling 28 watts right now. Okay, so I plug that into my Blue Eddy and I can run multiple devices. Um, the Blue Eddy EB3A, it has two USB ports. By adding this, I can go ahead and charge, like, let's say my iPad, my iPhone. I can um, recharge my fan and my USB lights. And the nice thing about this is if I'm not using something, I can just turn it off. And you see there are color indicators that let you know when something is on and what you are charging. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right. I'm going to get me something to eat. Because that rice that I had, <laughs> that did not uh, fill me up. And I packed really light as far as food. So, um, hey, this just gives me an excuse to check out a yummy local spot to grab some food. <laughs> Can y'all see that? <laughs> I guess that's a raven. <laughs> I guess that was a raven because <laughs> their license plate was Virginia so maybe it's like a dead raven in their truck <laughs> that's hilarious because this is like you know the Maryland area close to um, the Orioles and the Baltimore Ravens and all that so yeah that's what I'm thinking that's hilarious I don't know about y'all but I love country roads like this I grew up on roads like this and uh just so beautiful so peaceful and i love the curves and the bumps like this one right here Yeehaw! <laughs> oh man i love these types of roads get to see all the wildlife too usually there's some cows and horses you know roaming around on these types of roads i love it oh my gosh i love it Look at all this land, this beautiful land. Oh, what'd I say? What'd I say? There's usually cows or horses roaming around these roads. Look over there, look over to your right. Boom! <laughs> oh, this looks like a good hill. This looks like a good hill, y'all. Get that little pit in your stomach. Feel like your stomach's in your heart. Eh, that was all right. This one might be better. Let's see. Ooh, oh yeah, felt it there. 
Uh, no. <laughs> All right, this looks like a good one. Let me slow down because the speed limit is 35 up here. So let me slow it down. But this looks like a good uh, get your heart in your stomach. Let's see. Or vice versa. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. <laughs> This is how you know if your car handles well or not. If you can maintain speed and go around these corners and stay within these lines and it feels smooth like butter. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Love it. Love these roads. I love these roads. <laughs> Ow. Okay, y'all. I think I had way too much coffee today. But I am happy because, you know, Got to do some exploring, 